So um, this is a two part. This one's a two part. But um, I, I was, it's, I'm asking you, how do you prepare for auditions? But question, ha, uh, like, what have you auditioned for? I got a feeling I'm like, wait, this question, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I I don't I don't remember. I I can't remember auditioning. Um, I remember I sending a videotape in when I when when they were looking for drummers for Usher. Every drummer and a lot of drummers in America was sending sending around videotapes, uh, sending their videotapes in for the for the Usher gig. I think I sent a videotape to Gerald to give to Valdez. I don't even ever know if it ever saw the light of day once they saw Aaron Spears play. Yeah. I don't know if they ever looked at anybody else. Like, I don't know if I, I think it was like, why do we need to see anybody else? And so I, I, I like I remember so I like and and when they they told me that and when they told me to audition they were just like sending some videotapes of you playing music so I had like some clips of me playing with like John P. Key and then I made like a video of me just at home like shedding you know what I'm saying like um I don't think I play I didn't play a Usher song I did play a Usher song. I did play Usher song. I'll be interested to see. I'm going to find Ask Gerald if he still has that video. He don't throw away anything. Okay. So he may still have it somewhere. But yeah, I haven't I haven't had many auditions. Um I I haven't. So I would imagine I auditioned I I, I auditioned for R. Kelly. I did audition for R. Kelly. And I auditioned I didn't, I didn't have much time to do to prepare. I was on a gig the way I was playing with Dave Hollister. I had met R. Kelly at a studio maybe two months before, and the guy, I think the guy lost my number, and oh. R. Kelly told him, like, uh, man, they, they had it, they had got another drummer, and R. Kelly didn't, didn't like the guy, and he came in the rehearsal and was like, where's the guy I asked for? And uh, Donnie was like, oh, man, um, man, I lost that cat's number. And so Donnie was like... Um, Little Tony had got Little Tony was in the band by the end, and he was like, "Man, I can't." He was like, "I, I lost the cast number." So I just remember his name was Calvin, and Little Tony's like Calvin, Calvin Rogers. It's like, yeah, and so, um, they called. So they they called me. I just happened to be not far from R. Kelly's studio, doing a rehearsal with Dave Hollister, and then. They Lil Tony came by there and they said, Hey, we want you to come and audition. Lil Tony came by on his break and brought me a cassette tape. Um, and was like, Hey man, this is the song that they that that uh that they finna put out. This is a single that they get ready to put out. It was R. Kelly's uh I Wish. And so he was like, uh, this is the song they get ready they finna put out as a single. This is what we've been practicing. And I said, Okay. So uh I got in my car, I listened to it backwards and forwards, just had to kind of learn the patterns. And then I just kind of made sure I, I felt comfortable with the tempo. Cause I know, um, I knew that like it was heavy on having to be able to play with a click and drum loops. So uh, I made sure that I was, I was prepared for that. I went there, I knew the pattern. I, I knew the pattern, the drum pattern. And they asked me when the guy asked me, he said, man, can you know if I asked you to solo over this song, like, could you do that? And I was like, yeah. And then he said, all right, go ahead and take take eight bars. And I took eight bars at the end and, I, you know, I did it. And I didn't play anything other than what was there for the um, parts. And so uh, and that's how I got the kick. So. That's probably the one time I, I can say I auditioned. Um, it, so and that's crazy. what it was. That's what it consist, consisted of. It's so crazy how, like, it went back to the what is pocket examples with the you played the pattern, you played, but you also prepared for when they let you do something. Yep. And, bro, 
They never ever asked me ever to so nobody said solo to me ever again. <laughs> I played with Rob for two years. <laughs> nobody ever mentioned the word solo after that. No, never. They never asked me open up to do this, do that. They never. That's just. I mean, Rob wasn't into. He wasn't into hearing that. He wanted to hear what he recorded every single night. He wanted to hear the way he recorded every single night. I mean, I was almost like they were fighting with me, like. It ain't no crash on the downbeat. I'm like, we got this big old explosion and pyro coming in, and y'all had this big old interest, and then this groove coming in, chicka 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 chicka. You want me to go, beat cat? Y'all want me to come in like, boom, cat? They was like, yeah, I guess, okay, all right. But I mean, that was one of the things, and man, that was one of the times that uh. I really start paying attention to the things that I did out of like habit and, you know, like, you know, as a drummer, you do this a lot. Mm -hmm. The hi-hat, you know, I was just doing it and couldn't control it. And then this guy was like, yo man, what's this triplet thing you keep playing on hi-hat? Like, it's Mm -hmm. not happening. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was just doing it, wouldn't even be paying attention to it, you know? Uh, So uh, that got me into really studying, studying Ricky Lawson because for one, Ricky, I would listen to Ricky. He would go 8, 16, 24, 32, 48, 56, 68. He would go so many bars and not crash on a downbeat. He just, and it would just be like out of habit or out of just norm, like formality, just for me to every eight bars hit a crash on a one. And then he started being intentional. But then listening to him, I started being intentional about it and just not moving like that. So now I can play, I can play this and not just go. Cause now I'm paying attention. I'm, I'm intentional about every single thing I'm doing. So uh, that's, that's, that's that, big. that really got me, you know, that got me paying attention, playing that gig. Definitely got me paying attention to detail, got me paying attention to what I'm playing, you know, and stuff like that. So that's that's a that's a that's a gem, y'all. Like 